Right, I'm in the last video. I got some comments saying welcome back. Yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it. But yeah, uh, I only missed a week and quite often my jobs aren't, you know, pretty sprayed cabinets. Sometimes it's just work. So this week I decided to film this job which is a rented house. It's, it's just work. It's not pretty. Not much I can teach you or show you. But I thought I'd vlog it as they say. Show you how it goes. Uh, I've got some work to do on this house. One of the main things is this door. I made it right arse of this. See it handling straight. And for whatever reason they decided to put a bit of 3v2 down there. Butchered that. And it opens outwards for whatever reason. Complete bollocks. It don't shut properly. So I've got to turn it around, make it open inwards. It will open outwards so I'm just wondering if they bought the wrong door or whether they use a second hand one. Turn it around, I'm gonna to have to cover that somehow. Make a threshold, a uh, weather mould. Make a get a maybe make a deep stainless weather mold to cover that. And I'm fitting a very basic kitchen, cheap as they come, white, grey top. And that door and that door have to become fire doors. That one's got to be cut down because I can't find one the exact size. And that one I can find one the size, but I don't know whether I'll end up planing the lippings off, so we'll see. First thing I've got to do, cut some hedge. That's a shit door. Uh, it looks rough, but that's what it needed. I'm not doing the top. Mighty Bosch. Like this, I've had it quite a few years now, and it ploughs through. The thickest, even washing lines. I quite easily went through these. Get on with some work now. Right, there we go. Everything's out. Sparky's got to do a bit. He's got to get a socket in there for that cooker. It had the extension going across there. Tiles are off. Little muck took care of that. That's, I don't know, about a metre high, 1100 high. And I've got to decide what to do with this. I think I'll let customers have a look. Some's loose, some's hard. It's up to them whether to ignore it or to knock it back and skim it. Probably just put a cement screed on it skim on it, render it, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's it for now. Sparky can do his thing. Let customer decide on that. Right, door came off alright. Don't need to take these ones off. These are for adjustment. Got to get them bolts out inside there. And get this bit of shitty timber that they put on here. So they just foamed up behind. That bolt's doing nothing. That's just a perfect 10 fixing. There isn't one down there. There is one in there, but it's doing the same thing. Doing nothing. 
so I'll cut that out and get these bolts out of here do it one there just two bolts fucking shite job I'll just cut that down with the old saw cut through the foam I'll work this top out now take the strip off I think it's coming off anyway right door frames out just got to clean the foam up a little bit these two bolts the only things that are holding it in they're in quite firm the other bolts were going nothing into nothing into the cavity so see what I can get in I have to clean it back to the brickwork maybe just reuse this screw that on give me something to fix to I've cleaned off most of the foam and I've just shoved it over to one side that's pretty much how it should have been if they'd bought the right size frame Maybe they couldn't get one, but they've got 80 mil there, 70 there to brick work. So they could have just put two of these pieces down either side. That's much better to fix it. That's similar to what I'm going to do. Right, I've just stood a piece of 3 b 2 behind there. Could probably do with 4 b 2 but I ain't got any. So we'll decide. I'm gonna have to trim this back so that this comes back. See so they notched it for that. But that once it's packed out will give me about the right distance there. Pack that out a little bit. So yeah, looks like it's gonna be okay. So I'll get some screws in this, fix it back to the wall, because it's only 3 by 2 see there, 4 by 2 would be a bit big. I've got to decide what I'm going to end up doing with the front of this, so I need to position this timber in the right place. Hmm. I think I'll put it flush with the front of this. And I'll probably have to put an architrave over the front. I would like to just point it in with some cement. But this frame would need to be further over for that. I'm going to screw this timber on. I'll put some pencil marks where I think the good bricks are. You see these, you don't want to be drilling into them or where that is. So, pencil mark there, there's a couple below, above it. Just making a note. Can't get a screw down there because it'll be too far in, so one of these two. I'm going to put some foam down here first, behind it. Right, I've got two screws in, tried to get one in there, couldn't get it in. One at the bottom, one at the top, and it's level. Plum. And it's sort of parallel with the brickwork. The brickwork goes a little bit squiffy here and there. But it's running out slightly with this frame. Not bothered about that. But now I've got two in. I'll get a few more in. Uh, I've got a few more screws in where I can. I'll offer the frame up. And I drop some foam on the carpet here. Look. And I'm ignoring that. Let it go hard and it'll peel off easier. Try not to rub it in. If you take it off now, you just end up rubbing it in. And be careful where you put your hot drill. So it'll burn the carpet. I can offer the frame up now. Let's see what gap I've got on this side. Brickwork's all over the place, so I don't think I'll be able to get a full 40mm piece in. Right, so I had to rip that piece of 3v2 down. 
well that's in there now the frame sort of fits because so I need to trim that back trim that header back so that it'll go back here and I need a new saw but this one works it rip that down in one go no problem bit of a dodgy fence all right do some more I need to clean the foam up properly on this edge fix that timber back like I did that one clean that top up then I can get the frame in fixed in, get the frame in.
Let's get these thicker doors in, 44mm. It's got huge lumps of paint to get off. Spoke shape will sort those out. the right gap down there but I always knew it was going to be tight at the bottom it's touching over there it needs to come off there and I always knew the head was going to be short because I just put a 1 inch lip in on there 20mm lip in on there but I'll measure that gap make sure it's something like parallel I'll take a bit more off these bottoms just make them fit I'll work from the hinge side. Nothing at the top. From about there down, I need to take off two or three mil. You can weigh a ton these doors. Right, I've got chisel just wedged in there. That gap's pretty much parallel at the top, so it'll be able to go up. I don't want it to go up too much. Like I say, I always knew it was going to be a gap, so I'm just going to put a 20mm piece on the on the frame and another piece inside to create the rebate. But the hinge side isn't too bad now. There's a very slight gap there. It does go over a little bit if I push that. But what I'll do is, because I've just planed that and it's stepped a bit, I'll run the planer along it just to take off a fraction. I'll push that over and then I've got about the right gap there when that's even it'll balance out these brush strips intermittent brush strips I know that they need they need quite a bit of space you need I don't know three or more mil to get them to work properly so what I'll do is make that Make that parallel, I'll take off as much there as I will there. And I put quite fat lippings on because I know these casings are all over the place. You just end up planing the lippings off otherwise. I know that this one, see it's only 8mm if that. I know that that one that's going to go in the kitchen, that frame's pretty straight so I'm hoping that I won't lose too much of that lipping. And then I gave myself plenty on the other side to play with. But for this one, nearly there, just need to make that parallel, clean up that edge and make that parallel. Uh, that's how much I need to take off. You see that would have been the 10mm lipping. If I'm careful, I've looked at this, this quirk, as I call it, where the archetype goes, and it looks fairly parallel. So if I'm careful, I should be able to draw that down there like that. It'll be close enough. Just be careful. I'll get it close and then refine it. using block of wood with a wedge in it. Right, I'm going to plane that off. I've done hundreds of doors but on commercial buildings normally and when you make them tight when they fit nicely and just tight and they just go in. Sometimes they won't work because there's pressure in the room. You see the tiles lift if you slam them. See all the suspended tiles that go doo -doo. Anyway, playing this. Uh, because I'm tapering up to nothing, I've just done one cut. You see, it's going against the grain, so I'll come the other way. But what I'll do is take a cut there, then take a cut a little bit further up, then take another little cut a bit further up, then another one further up until I'm left with just like a millimetre all the way up then I'll be able to do one clean run
Uh, I've still got my pencil line in there all the way up. I'll offer it up and see if it does that. And when I'm tidying that up, I'll give it a bit of a leading edge that way. Alright, so I'll just clean that up a little bit. It's not bad. Maybe a fraction too much there. Don't care. I'll lift it up a little bit so that I've got 20mm and a bit of a gap at the top. And get some hinges cut into it. I've got my H mark just to remind me which side the hinges are going on. But I'll mark them directly on here. Little X next to them to remind me which side of the line to go. One at the bottom, one at the top. Everybody has their own differences, distances, should I say. But seven and nine, ten and eleven, seven and eleven, I don't care. Seven and nines I'm going for. And then one in the middle. Been like that for 25 years. I don't expect it to change soon. Now I'm just setting the depth with a couple of hinges sat on top. I'm just on the edge of this one because the knuckle will raise it up a bit. I'll set that at that. And then I'll check it. And the first cut I make will be going backwards so the cutter's cutting into the wood so it doesn't spelch out on the edge but just enough to score the edge. Uh, this could have seen better days, but I don't have another, so it'll have to do. I have to be quick. I had to hang this, put the bottom screw in, I marked that first and drilled it so that the screw goes straight in there. Now I can swing that out so these hinges go in the pockets that I've made.
that screw was slightly out so I put this screw you know like to this side of the hole tightened it up loosened that one and that pulled the hinge over so I'll take that one out move it over a fraction same with that one see like that so I put it this side of the hole I want this to tighten up a bit more so before I drive that in I'll loosen that one a little bit and when that goes in it'll push it over the countersink will push it over and I can tighten that one up and put these others in pull it up and right, just come back to this door I fixed this leg on the frame hung the door swung it shut then fixed this frame I just screwed it to the wall now I've just put a bit of batten down this side and that piece you saw me do on the router the chamfer that chamfer's on the top Got to put a bit of fellow in that screw. That's just going to get painted white. And I've got some stainless steel to go on the bottom. And this door, I say, hasn't got any holes. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes here and there so that water can come out of here. When I point it up, I'll, make, I'll put a bit of wire through or something. Pull that out, that'll create a hole, let water out. Polishing a turd, this, so. Uh, It'd be right. Fire door. After I'd hung it, piece of 2x1 at the top. I need to put another piece on the inside there to create the rebate. Handles. Skip that. Just drill a hole, chop them in. And brush strip, of course. Smoke seal. This one in here. That's got door closer on it. You have to go on the inside because there's no room there. But they work okay. Well, they did. Did the other day. It probably needs adjusting. Yeah. I'll just give it a tweak. Brand new out of the box, it worked fine. Need some paint on that. A little bit of plumbing to do. Just alter those, make them into spurs. Sticking out. Get on with kitchen. I've got a bit of wood to go down there. A bit of wood to go down there. So, just screwed a piece of timber onto there. I'm going to fill it and put a coat of primer on. And up there we've got nearly half inch. I know the rebate in commercial buildings is half inch, I think anyway. But this is about 10, 11 mil. But when I bought these latches, when I bought these latches, I bought them with a wider back step, about 57 mil. So there should be enough space between there. I'll put another button on there, screw another button if I need to. I don't think so. Though. Get some paint on that. When that's dry, I can get the door closed on. Well. 